everyone for uh, chiming in on the last couple videos. This is fun. I'm having a ball getting in here and um, playing. Playing more. Um, let's see. I got some really amazing generous tips from the last video. Thank you guys. Um, Keith Axtell, David Pepper, um, a couple of other really generous people. Thank you guys so much. A little bit goes a long way. It really does. I appreciate it. We're coming into the slow season. <laughs> December and January are always uh, a little precarious around here as far as work goes. So, um, Thank you, guys. Uh, I wanted to talk quickly about... Um, I got a lot of questions about the Chris Stapleton thing um, that I did with Book for the Vince Gill tribute. Um, and it, it was a song, Whenever You Come Around, this is the guitar I played, this is a Chad Underwood Strat. Um, and uh, let's see, some people asked if I had worked up the solo. <clears throat> I never, I never work up solos before I play them. I have no idea what I'm going to do before I do it, ever. Um, I just, I don't have that facility. I probably could work on that and figure out what to play before I play it, but honestly, I like I like the danger of being in the moment and, you know, I, f I always feel like I discover new things if I put myself in that position, even though it's both terrifying and exhilarating at the same time. Um, so, um, but what I do is I just try to lean into the melody, really listen to the melody. I know that song really well, you know, I've played it with Vince tons of times. Um, so, you know, I just kind of play off the melody of the song and, and try to find melodic things that really count and emote, you know, the rest of the song without being fancy or trying to, you know, be too busy, too licky. I just try to find notes that count, right? Um, so that song was in C. The solo's uh, over C, F, and G. And there's a quick A minor at the end. Um, so, you know, 
There's a few melodic things that I lean into, and then there's Vince's original solo, which is really beautiful, you know? Um, I think I probably stole a little bit from that too, as in, you know, tip of the hat to him. I think he plays one, this one figure um, over the five. taking those really simple phrases and figuring out a half a dozen different ways to play it, you know? Um, uh, so there's that. And as far as the sound, it was just this guitar through uh, Memory Man and... Uh, I think the amps might have been breaking up a little bit. Um, uh, so that's pretty much that. That's all I got. I've said it before, C is the hardest key for me. I don't know why. There's just the thirds are so dominant in the key of C that I'm always trying to find a way to, creative way to, um, deliver things in the key of C that are uh, not so third heavy, you know, it's tricky. If you know what I mean, you know, like the third is in, um, the third in the key of C is E. So in the chord you have E there and you got a high E. It's a good thing to practice. That song in particular is, is I always find challenging. Um, it's such a beautiful song and you don't want to ruin it with stuff that's too busy. Hi! Hi! <laughs> you got a new jumper. <laughs> Show the camera. Come here. Look. Turn around. Snowman! <laughs> 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 Alright, I'll be out in a minute, okay? I love your jumper. That's what it's all about anyway. I only have one strat and this is it. I'm, I feel like it's all I need. I love this guitar. This is so good. It's just an older body strat with a set of Ron Ellis 64 pickups in it. And it's, the more I play it, I swear, the better it gets. It's wicked. Um, <laughs> I like a strat that has a good telly vibe in the bridge too, and I feel like this kind of has that. <laughs> Thank you. 